I'm Nick FPV. Welcome to my toothpick build. Um, I didn't see a bunch of these videos on YouTube yet, so I thought I'd toss in my build uh, info for the toothpick, a little review, and then I'll show you some flight footage. I was pretty pumped when this guy came out, and I pretty much went with all the stock parts that were recommended by Kebab. These are the FPV cycle motors. So this is the Newbie Drone uh, camera mount, beta FPV board. And I have the Ishii Nano VTX <clears throat> on there. I use FlySky, so I just have a generic FlySky receiver. I screwed a little plastic standoff back here just to mount my antennas because this camera mount obviously doesn't have much to do anything with. The only odd thing about this build, the custom piece, is the camera. So what I did, because I really love the sort of super view effect of the whoop style cameras, um, but I hate the video quality of those cameras. I wish some camera manufacturers would put one of those lenses on these, um, you know, a Run Cam Nano, a EOS 2. So instead what I did was I took a, this is a Cadex EOS 2, if you can see it, little focus back there. I <clears throat> unscrewed the lens, even though it's an M8 lens, I removed the lens from a whoop camera. If it's an M7 mount, I thought, what the hell, let's try it. I can't find these lenses anywhere on Banggood that are M8. I, f I use a pair of pliers because they're glued on. I forced it off. And for some strange reason, it actually screwed in. I think the leftover adhesive on, the, on this lens kind of allowed it to screw in tightly um, but it's the best of both worlds that gets that super view sort of very fast feel but with a much better camera sensor um, and you'll, you can see that in the, in the footage here I'm using using these batteries these are the these are the only 453s that have been that are left in on any freaking website I got these on Amazon people are buying the this type of battery left and right so the beta FPVs are the only one left I haven't had any issues with them. We'll see how long they last, but um, I fly pretty hard. I, I kind of like to fly in the racing style. I don't, I don't like to cruise. So when I'm doing like a medium level flight, I've been getting about four minutes flying sort of medium intensity, medium throttle. And then when I fly hard, I'm still getting about three and a half minutes on this setup. So I'm very, very stoked about that. Um, what Kebab said about this was that it kind of feels like you're floating and <clears throat> I really agree with that. It feels literally like flying this, my super, this is a sub 40 gram, uh, two and a half inch 2S and it literally feels like I'm flying this. I would say a couple challenges or critiques I've had with the build. Um, the newbie drone camera mount did require a few modifications. I had to sort of drill out these holes to be a little bigger to fit the uh, M2 screws here. I went for the shorter shorter screws for the side screws and then I used a long one to get that 45 degree camera angle that I like so I can go super hard, super hard core, you know what I'm saying? In, in doing sort of hard race style flying, I felt that I wanted a little more grip in the turns. Um, I don't know if that's, you know, probably a different set of props would help, but I also understand these are getting pretty damn good flight time. So I'd be curious to try the props. Um, I was having to really bank pretty hard to kind of catch the quad from drifting. The top, maybe 10% of the throttle, I didn't feel like was giving much. So I'm not sure if that's the motors, the, the props, or maybe I just need to take it out a few more times and be sure, but I could probably do a throttle cut, save even more battery and not really notice much of a difference. I messaged Kebab just to see what he was, what Betaflight version he was running and what his TPA values were. So he prefers 3.5.7 as do many micro flyers. He, uh, he went with a 0.5 TPA with a break point of about 1350. And that's what I'm using on this and it seems to fly really well. I hardly get any, any prop wash at all this thing flies super smooth hope you enjoy and let me know if you have any questions thanks
Thank you.